come back at you and the elbow push up your score and we have to be ready for that and we were. As you said, they are a very good team. They might be the best team in the NHL right now. When you say you have to look back, is, do you look back as, all right, what, what can I do when I get up again? It's tough guys, like a tough team like that. What can I do to be able to play my game? I mean, yeah, I think you just got to be able to stay on your side of your guy. And um, sometimes sometimes you can't be hopping in the rush every single shift. Though. Sometimes you're just not there and you can't force it because then they're going to make you pay. So I guess teams like this that track hard and have good offensive players, you you, you got to be careful sometimes and you got to worry about playing defense first. What did you take away from this season, both in Buffalo and in Rochester? Um, just my first year of full pros. It was great, and I know what to expect, and I know the process of moving into a place and getting the car dealt with, and what, what, what to expect coming to the rink every day, and um, knowing that I have to be sharp in practice every day and prepare my body every day, and uh, make sure I'm eating right, sleeping right. So I'm looking forward to taking all those things um, into next year. This is what people don't realize. There are a lot of off ice things that young players have to find out about, aren't there? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, learn how to cook different meals, like switching it up and, um, I mean, keeping yourself busy, really. I mean, you're done, done at the rink lots of the time by 1 o'clock, and uh, you got a lot of the day to, to do activities, so you got to try and find something to keep you busy, and um, I think that's that's something that I'll be able to attend to next year as well. You know, this locker room voted Lena Solmark team MVP on the three games he went through. How frustrating is it knowing that he's better than what he showed up there these last three days? No, I mean, I don't think it's that. I think we just, we didn't play good enough in front of him. Those guys said backdoor tappings, shots from slot bar down, like, can't blame the goalie for that. So, it's on us.